Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying this Maggie. Uh, this is the Spatzel in chum whatever sauce. Uh, this was sent to us by Maria. She's in Berlin, Germany. And um, this is actually translates to in a mushroom sauce. So it's Spatzel in a, in a mushroom sauce. And um, it can be done in the pan or a microwave. And that's what it's supposed to look like right there. Um, the directions and everything, of course, are in German. So I can't read any of it. But she did tell me directions. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a bowl. And you got 500 milliliters uh, which is basically two cups of warm water. There you go. And then you want to empty the contents of this bag. So let me, I'm just going to cut it. It has a full tab, but I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to dump it in there. I'm going to give it a good stir. And then um, she said to basically microwave it um, for eight minutes. So if you're doing it on, in a pan, you're going to do it for 12 minutes. Uh, if you want to cook this in a pan, but if you're going to do it in the microwave, you do it for 12. Um, doesn't say anything about covering it. Um, stir in microwave for another, so you do it for eight minutes and then you're going to do it for another eight minutes after you stir it. So you're going to microwave for eight minutes, stir it, and then do it another eight minutes. Okay. That makes more sense because it was, it was basically 12 on the stove, but you know, if we're doing work type related meals you don't have a stove generally at work you only have a microwave so i'm going to get this in the microwave i may lay a paper towel over top of it just to make sure it's not going to get um splatter everywhere and i may put a paper plate or something i'll i'll put something underneath of it too probably to make sure it doesn't bubble over but anyway i'll be right back hey so here it is out of the microwave i had to cook it a little bit different than what uh, maria said because uh the um, i put it in for the eight minutes at first and i covered it with that paper towel the paper towel like literally once it started bo boiling it touched the paper towel and it just sucked it in. So I had to take the paper towel out. And then I realized it was really starting to thicken up and cook already. So I didn't want it to be mushy. So what I did was I reduced the time to five minutes. So what was that? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, um, 12 or 13 minutes total is what I ended up doing it in. And it seems to be fine. And so 12, I would probably say 12 minutes split in half. So if you did six minutes, stir it, and then six minutes, it'd probably be fine. Um, you don't have to stir it if you use a big enough bowl. I mean, you don't have to cover it if you use a big enough bowl. It doesn't splatter. Um, it did, however, really steam up in the microwave because literally the contents was were boiling pretty much the entire time. Um, so it steams up in your microwave really bad. What you'll want to do is make sure you open the door to your microwave and leave it open and let some of that um, moisture come out of there or it ends up rusting your microwave or wipe it out really good. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off for a minute because it has been in the microwave for a long time and I'll be back. Now Maria on our cheat sheet did give me um, how many calories half the container was. So the spatzel and mushroom sauce is 240 calories if you eat half the package. Um, so what, 480 if you eat the whole thing? It's not too bad. Um, I like spats. I've had it before in, um, in a meal, I think from Aldi. Did I get it from Aldi? I think I got it from Aldi. Um, and it's really, really good. So here we go. Love the flavors. Um, the noodles are, um, whatever they're made out of. They're, um, they're kind of have a, like a buttery texture and they're a little firmer than what you would call like a traditional pasta, like a spaghetti noodle or something. It's a, it's a little firmer than that. They're not hard and they're not rubbery or anything, but they're just firmer. Has more chew to it. Um, I like the sauce. The sauce is really good. It's a, it, you do get that um, kind of earthy mushroom flavor, which I really like. I love mushrooms anyway. Um, I could eat them by themselves, truth be told. Um, I like that. I like that a lot in the sauce. It's not what I call a really um, like rich sauce, like it's not a cream sauce or anything like that, but it is um, a good mushroom, like a, almost like a gravy um, mixed with spatzel. It's pretty good. I really do like the flavor and texture. I would assume this is probably something most, um, if you're in Germany, you probably eat this as a side dish with something else. Like you would have this served with, you know, a piece of beef or a piece of chicken or a piece of pork, something like that. Um, probably not eating it by itself. Although it does make a good lunch. I would probably do, this is one of those ones um, I would probably do at home the night before, put it in a container so it's already cooked and then um, take it to work and just heat it up and microwave just to, just to warm it back up, not to actually cook it. Because it, first of all, it takes a pretty good sized bowl so it doesn't overflow. And um, 
it just takes a while. So, I mean, half your lunch would be over by the time you got done cooking it. So I'd probably cook it the night before and just warm it up in the microwave for um, a couple minutes the next day. I think it'd be better uh, or easier to do. That being said, I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. I really do like it. A really good flavor if you, um, and it is exactly what it says it is. It's spatzel with a mushroom sauce. So it's, the mushrooms are really good and earthy. The spatzel is really good and well cooked and flavorful. So yeah, it is what it says it is. Uh, we should have been a little bit more creamy, but you know, that's hard to do in a, in a dry mix. So anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.